D.C. on Saturday night, promoting the super middleweight title doubleheader between fights. Showtime's Jim Gray asked Floyd about a possible return. Here's what he had to say. Everyone's asking me, is Floyd Mayweather coming back? Right now, I'm happy being on this side promoting, but I've been talking with CBS and Showtime, and you never know. But right now, I'm just happy on this side. Now, side note, ESPN has learned that on April 21st, the company owned by Mayweather filed for trademarks to TMT50 and TBE50. He now is attempting to own those. One year ago today, Floyd fought Manny Pacquiao. So, Stephen A., if he returns, who would you like him to fight? Me personally, Skip Bayless, the, the name that I would put out there is Saul Canelo mm. Alvarez. That is the name that I would pick. Did I would see that? Now, let, me, let me say this to you. I respect all of these guys, the Danny Garcias. Errol Spence is special. I watched him in his last fight against Chris Algieri, even though, even though it was against Chris Algieri. I just watched Styles and whatever. This kid is special. Kelly Brooks, or Kel Brooks mm -hmm. in England, he's undefeated, okay? And obviously, Britain, the way they support their fighters, it would be something special as well. Global appeal, no doubt. I don't want Mayweather near Gennady Golovkin because, to me, the man is, is, is a monster. He's too big, he's too strong, but he's too big. He walks around as a natural middleweight. That's what, that's what I'm thinking about. He's not some welterweight who moved up to the middleweight division. He's a natural, he's a natural middleweight, okay? I'm not down with stuff like that. Canelo Alvarez was in the super welterweight division and moved up. Now, Canelo Alvarez received a boxing lesson yes, he did. from Floyd Money Mayweather, an absolute lesson. But the flip side to it is that Canelo Alvarez is the kind of fighter that has knockout power that comes to take you out. He just wasn't skilled enough at the time, undefeated at the time, but still very, very young and relatively raw. To me, if a Canelo Alvarez was to somehow, some way, I expect him to knock out Amir Khan next week, by the way, inside of five rounds. But after that, then turn around and fights Triple G and some miracle happens. That's right, I'm calling it a miracle because there are people out there who thinks Canelo could beat Triple G. I'm telling you, ain't no way in hell that's happening. I don't believe I agree. it. I got to see it. I don't believe that for one second. I think he's, I don't think, I, I think the power and the speed that he has, it going up against Triple G, that ain't gonna cut it. I'm sorry, okay? So, I look at him, and to me, it comes down to two people. Mm -hmm. Manny Pacquiao. I'm sorry, a healthy Manny Pacquiao, because we want to make sure. We want to make sure that show is okay, okay. Not, not during the fight. I can't believe not, you're not, even not, acknowledging not, not, that not Manny's one, still not, not the one he alive. hurt during the fight when he missed about mm. 400 punches. I'm not talking about, I, I ain't using it as an excuse. I'm not talking about that. I want Manny 100%. All right, we don't want any excuses. Mm -hmm. But even that, I think, I think Canelo Alvarez would actually be a more appealing fight because Manny Pacquiao and the Floyd Money Mayweather fight last May 2nd was so disappointing that I believe that the public would not buy to that. And I totally believe Floyd when he says, I ain't coming back unless it's for nine figures. I definitely believe that. And I don't believe that the public would get ripped off again by him fighting Pacquiao for nine figures. I think Canelo being a knockout artist that he can be, if Canelo went out there and won his next fight or two by knockout I th and, and, and proclaimed that he was ready for a rematch with Floyd, I think that would be far more legitimate than Manny Pacquiao mm -hmm. against Floyd. By the way, when Floyd schooled Canelo, Canelo came all the way down to 152. That is correct. And Floyd went up to 150 and a half. That's so they right. were sort to of catch in the weight, same and, and, and that's what they're saying, you know, so that, that has a lot to do with it. It's one of the reasons why Canelo wants Triple G to come down to 155. Five. And Triple G is like, nope, I'm going to fight you at 160. Now, Triple G told me personally he would come down to 155 to fight Floyd. Mm -hmm. That's the only person he would do that for. He's opposed to guys looking looking to capture middleweight championships, looking forward mm -hmm. to fighting at that weight and walking around big enough to do it, but then all of a sudden they want him to come down to 155 to fight him. That's how he views Canelo. Yep. He does not view Floyd Mayweather that way because mm -hmm. he thinks Floyd Mayweather is a naturally smaller guy, whereas Canelo is just trying to get him to come down and wait so he could be weaker. I knew your man Floyd could not stay away, <laughs> and I do not blame him for not staying away because the money is just crazy money. And Floyd's quote over the weekend was, crazy numbers are being thrown my way. 
he made at least $220 million off the Pacquiao fight. That is correct. One year ago tonight. Mm -hmm. 220, that's, that's the, 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 the bottom, you know, it, it, at least 220, probably more than that. It was over 300. Okay, so, so oh, think. 300 it, yeah, million in yeah, a day. For, for, in an hour, I mean, right? I mean, right? the average American I mean, probably doesn't well, even Think about that, 30, it's incomprehensible. So if somebody's telling you, as you're, you're going on 40 years of age, he's 39, he turned 39 on February 24th, okay? So he's, the clock is ticking toward 40 years of age. And if somebody told you, you could have two mega fights left, you could. You could have one with Pacquiao, and I know you're, you're dead set against this, you could have one with Triple G. Now again, here's what I've said to you from the start about Triple G. I hear all of your reservations, your concerns for Floyd. But if Floyd is, in fact, the greatest defensive fighter ever, and I give him that, mm -hmm. can he not figure out a way to at least survive Triple G, to at least stay on his feet for 12 rounds against Triple well, G? Well, see, here, uh, let, me, let me say this, and I've never said this to you before, but I'll say it to you right here on national television. I believe that Floyd could hurt Pacquiao, if not knock him out. I believe he has a chance to hurt Canelo. I don't believe he would affect Triple G. And if you get into the ring with Triple G at Floyd's size, you're literally going in there to run for 12 rounds, to outbox him for 12 yeah. rounds. Well, what to else hit without, you do? I'm saying well, to hit well, without I mean, getting hit. But what I'm saying to you is this. Juan Manuel Marquez put Pacquiao to mm -hmm. sleep. Even though the fight was unattractive, I know what Floyd could do to Pacquiao if he caught him. I'm not convinced that Canelo can't get had because I think Canelo was a bit timid because he felt some of Floyd's punches early because Floyd did not run in that fight against Canelo. He outboxed him. He hit and held Pacquiao. He frustrated Pacquiao. He made Pacquiao miss 400 times, which is why his shoulder got separated. Mm -hmm. But he didn't, but that was the deal. Against Canelo, he mm -hmm. stood right there and outboxed him and gave him a boxing lesson. Mm -hmm. The problem with Triple G I've literally watched Triple G let people, listen, they asked him this question after his latest fight when he, when he, when Demetrius Wade, I think, mm, he, no, the, the guy came in there, he came yep. in the ring petrified, okay, no, no disrespect to Wade, he's got a bright future, but damn it, he was in over his head, okay, yep. here's the thing, I've watched Triple G, and he told me this when he, when I interviewed him on my radio show, he literally has got to the point where at times he literally lets fighters hit him just so they could get some confidence or just so he could make it interesting because it's so easy and it's so boring. And I'm saying to you, with Floyd being so considerably smaller, obviously I know Floyd. I've stood next to Triple G. We've talked, but you know, I, I shook his hand and everything. This is a big, strong no, I, dude. I, I know, but remember, he's a 160 pounder. That's what he is. It's 160 versus 140. Well, you got to remember. You, got. you got to remember, not really, because you're talking about the weigh-in, and then after the weigh-in, you're allowed to come into the ring. You got to meet the weight, but then the next night, you could come into the ring at any size once you've met that deadline. You got to remember, Canelo walked into the ring against Miguel Cotto. Skippy was close to 170. This dude, I mean, because after you meet. The requirements oh for the weigh-in, yeah. you can gain weight. Floyd walks, what you see is what you get, Skip. Mm -hmm. This guy, uh, Gennady, might roll up in there at 170, 175. I mean, no, Floyd don't need to go near that boy. Don't need to go near him. I can't believe you're saying this about I have, Floyd I Mayweather have always Jr. Said, I have said it. I've said it to his face. I'm telling it to you. I've said it on national TV. I think that Floyd is maybe the greatest defensive fighter I've ever seen. I think about him the same way I thought about Pernell Whitaker and others. Floyd is the real deal. I am strictly speaking about size, man. And if you walk into the ring, man, and, and somebody, you, you're just, you're just tapping them in their eyes because they're that bigger and they're that stronger. I mean, I see Triple G knocked a dude down, mm -hmm. uh, knocked Wade down the okay. other day with a shot to the arm. 
He went down with a shot to the arm, man. I didn't just stay away from him. Now you've turned stay, into stay a Triple G from. fan or I've fanatic. Always, I've always been a Triple G fan. Okay. Stay away from this Floyd, man. Floyd, are you watching Stay this? away from this man. Canelo, if Canelo's smart, that Oscar De La Hoya, everybody needs to stop getting on Oscar De La Hoya right now. Oscar De La Hoya is a damn good promoter. And in the case of Canelo Alvarez, he's being brilliant because he's keeping him away from Triple G. Stay the hell away from that man. Okay. I'm trying to tell you, stay away from him, man. Stay away from him. I'm here to tell you. Sugar Ray Leonard, in his day, would have figured out how to beat Triple G in similar circumstances. But let me tell you this, and this is where your argument comes into play, where at times you chide Floyd and talk about Sugar Ray Leonard, blah, 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 blah. I remember Sugar Ray Leonard going into the ring against a Donnie Lalonde mm -hmm. out of retirement yep. from the torn retina and mm -hmm. all of this stuff. And Sugar Ray is playing around, dancing around, letting him miss and all, making him miss and all that stuff. And Donnie Lalonde catches Sugar Ray and drops him. And Sugar Ray is on the canvas and he just looks up and his eyes narrow. And he came up and massacred he this did. dude. Beat the hell out of him and then knocked him out. Stopped him. If I remember correctly, I think this is the ninth round if I remember correctly. My point to you is Sugar Ray had the ability to hurt guys. I'm saying I don't think Floyd could hurt Triple G. At all. At all. Well, trust me. At all. There's no at way Floyd could hurt Manny Pacquiao. Oh, please. Oh, at oh, the, please. Wait, 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 oh, wait. please. At the, oh, please. I, I got to say this. Oh, for the record again, for all those who get misled by this man what, sitting across whatever, from me. Whatever, Manny please. Pacquiao, three weeks before that fight, tore his rotator cuff uh, there sparring. We go. Excuses, excuses. He tried to fight because he was afraid he excuses, would never get the excuses. payday again. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's He's exactly afraid that right. he was going to get the uh, payday. Exactly right. So he showed up, yep. right? Even though the elbow was hurt, he showed he up, right? He wanted a pain-killing injection, which the state of Nevada denied him on fight night mm -hmm. because they had not filed the well, official paperwork. Well, Manny Pacquiao paperwork. knew that he needed okay. to step into the ring against Timothy Bradley and, and win in happened? dramatic fashion, yep. and win in dramatic fashion in order to Healthy. warrant a rematch. Healthy. In order to warrant a rematch against Punished and couldn't do it. Oh, give me punish. And, and, oh, and here's the point. Oh, please. Manny Pacquiao, hey, wait a second. Me. Fighting with one arm. At really? the end of that fight, really? Really? he looked really? like he had been sparring with Freddie Roach. That's, That's right. how his you face know what? looked. You know That's what? You know, you know what it is? Like he'd been doing hey, listen, listen, I'll, be the first, I'll be the first you know? to admit that Floyd Money Mayweather didn't have a great night as far as I'm concerned. He hit and he held. All of that's true. Mm -hmm. But the flip side is, is that Floyd Money Mayweather doesn't sit up there and make money off of people because he advertises that he's going to knock somebody out. Y'all pay to see the fight because y'all want Floyd shut up. Mm -hmm. Y'all want him silent. Yep. You want him knocked out, yep. and no and one guess can what? do it. Especially Manny Pacquiao. Y'all will pay again. That's right. That's Manny what it's going to be, right? That's what it's, it's going, going to happen. Let me tell you what. You it's, want, is that what, what it's going to be? I tell yeah. you, you want me to tell you what I don't want right. if it happens? Yeah. I don't want Floyd Money Mayweather fighting at the MGM Grand in Vegas. I love it there. I love it. I have a good time, but I don't. I don't want it there. I want him to go and beat Manny Pacquiao in, in Macau. Macau. In, in Macau. the Philippines. Yeah. That's right, in the Philippines. Go, go to his not, home not turf the Philippines. and beat him. Go to China. They do go to China. Go to China. Go, 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 go in his backyard. Okay. Go in his backyard you. We'll do and that. beat we'll him that. there. It's now, a deal. To me, right. it's a that deal. would be That's more interesting. It's a deal. Here we go. Listen, here we go. Only people who think. Yep. That Manny Pacquiao is more. Do you watch Canelo Alvarez? Mm -hmm. You can sleep if you want to. The brother's bad. He just needs to stay away from Triple G. But mm -hmm. Canelo's a bad boy. No. He just needs to stay away from Triple G. He gotta just needs to stay away from Triple G. You, but I think gotta it's gotta do it right be Manny now. Floyd for 50. Right now. It's gotta be. Before Floyd turns 40. Please, please. He could be 42. He's still gonna be Pacquiao. Mm. All right, we'll up next, we're going that. to the NFL. The Jets have drafted a quarterback in four straight drafts. Unbelievable. This year, they took Christian Hackenberg out of Penn State. Was this a good move? We'll dissect next. Stay tuned.